Okay, just a quick video update. Uh, I did get the replacement and turf lawn. Um, they had sent me the paste, and then they went ahead and sent me the aerosol. It's the thin super. Uh, not exactly sure what that means, but I know it's supposed to be a dry film lubricant. But I can tell you right now, just from trying it, it's just really smooth. It's like one finger, four to one. I mean, come on. I've also printed the other components in nylon six. So the bearing holders, the carrier, the gears in here are already nylon. So is the sun gear. So we're gonna see if that survives. If it doesn't survive, then we know we've got no choice but to go to the metal. If it survives and then all these gears take out their aggressions on the outer ring gear, <laughs> then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the nylon outer ring gear in. So we're gonna see what fails. Uh, progressively out of the system. We knew the sun gear failed first. Now that they're all nylon six, let's see if the sun gear fails again. If it does, metal parts, that's where we gotta go. Uh, if it doesn't fail, or if it tends to strip out the planetaries, then we we know that it's, it's that the nylon's working, but if they all strip out uh, evenly, then we know for a fact that it's uh, basically just a it's got to be metal. <laughs> if nothing strips out on the uh, outside gears and the sun gear survives, but the ring gear dies, since it's PETG, then we know we'll switch that out. And nylon six might actually be the answer to this equation. So we're going to see what happens with that in combination with the interflon and the motor that I'm going to be putting on this. And we will we'll see what happens. I got to build the mount for it when the motor arrives. After I take measurements, fingers crossed I have schematics in there so I know the bolt alignment so I can go into Fusion and put those in, the, the mount that I make for this. And then it'll bolt in here just like the older mount did for the other motor. So we're going to drive it from the center shaft and we're going to drive it from a um, cup basically that fits over the edges of the carrier on each side so it's not just spinning from the center it's grabbing it from the outside of the carrier to get more torque so we'll see what happens as soon as the motor gets here